Hello everybody, welcome to Guru 3D. My name is Hilbert and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about AMD Ryzen today. AMD is uh, this week releasing three processors. It's going to be the eight core parts. Uh, they're going to massively attack Intel with processors that are equally as fast and pricing wise very, very competitive. The entry level processor will be uh, 329 US dollars. It's the 1700. Then in the mainstream segment for 399 US dollars, you're going to see the 1700X processor, which should be really good. And AMD also is launching a flagship processor at 499 US dollars. You guys will know it as the Ryzen 7 1800X. That's the processor that just arrived uh, for testing today. Um, typically, we do not do any unboxing videos as well. Videos are really not our thing, but it was requested in the forum, so I figured why not. Um, on Thursday then, the full reviews will go live, including ours. Uh, we'll try and share as much content as we can, but time is limited as we received our samples really late. Um, for this video review, we're going to show you the 1800X with a motherboard. All right, you guys, it's time to do this. This is the box we received from AMD. Just got shipped in. This is... Uh, sample and review kit that uh, pretty much any press received last week in an event, on an event at uh, the lovely San Francisco. We're going to open it up right now. Hey, look at that. Most people should have gotten a Noctua cooler and we seem to be receiving, there we go, a Predator 240 from EK, our favorite cooling company of course. And let me just check. Yes, there it is. A Predator 240 Ryzen specific kit. That's pretty cool. So at least we know we can overclock the processor. Well, it's probably chilled. AMD also sent a Noctua cooler. The NH-U12S SE, the AM4 edition. As you guys know, Noctua is, receiving, uh, is releasing uh, several mounting kits. So if you already have a proper uh, not to our cooler from the last say two three years it should be compatible you can uh, get an AM4 upgrade kit for free if you go to the website and uh, they'll just deliver it uh, to you and then uh, the most important thing oh yeah this is good look at that really nice Horizon full box let me just pause the video here and refocus so as you can see, these are the three components that uh, AMD sent for the review. Um, yeah, the Predator 240, that's going to be excellent for, for a little bit of overclocking. The Noctua cooler, of course, totally silent, really great. And that lovely wooden box over there that we're going to open up right now. Right, so here we have the wooden box. Let's open it up. That did not survive transportation, I think. And there's the press kit. Most important thing, of course, hey, look at that. There's a Ryzen processor there. Corsair is also joining the party with a nice Corsair Fenge and LPX cat. These are not the most expensive uh, memory modules that you can find, but they offer pretty, well, actually really good value for money. This is a two times eight gig kit, 16 gigabytes in total. And it's rated 3000 megahertz. And let's see, cast latency 15, so that should be pretty good. Your Ryzen is here ready to review. I could not agree more after all the delays with shipments. And last but not least, there's a nice and heavy Corsair 6 Hero motherboard in there. Wow, that's a little messy. So, let's just open that up. That is lovely. We have the motherboard. That's the good stuff, guys. There are already two brackets on there. I'm not quite sure. I think these are the Noctua mounts. Yeah, the NM AMB7. So, this motherboard already was equipped with motor of motherboard mounts or socket mounts for the Noctua cooler but 
well, I don't think these will be included as standard, but it's a pretty cool motherboard, all right. Let's go to the really important stuff, though. And open the box and have a look at our Ryzen processor. There it is. It's not entirely clean, I think, so it has been tested and used, probably pre tested for. review purposes yeah absolutely somebody definitely cleaned that off so the Ryzen logo is a little bit hard to read that's it that's the Ryzen processor socket AM4 looks a lot like FM2 lot like FM2 actually that's the good stuff you guys All right, I am going to set up the system and start testing for you guys because I need to have a review ready on first day. I'll see you guys back then. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good time. Bye.